G'day mates, beautiful Friday here in Melbourne. So I thought we'd head out to the backyard, sit in the sun, and I'll give you a demonstration of our brand new Sleep HQ iOS app on an iPad. Now good news, it has just been approved by Apple. So we're very excited about that. A few beers tonight, that's for sure. But we haven't hit the release button to the world just yet. And that's because we're a small team and we want to party when we do. We want to be together. And that will likely be in a couple of weeks at the Sleep Down Under conference in South Australia. Anyway, let's check it out, shall we? Here we go. And we're checking out Jay's account again. Thanks, Legend, appreciate it. All right, so not a full detailed analysis today, just a little swipe through so you can see how it looks. We've got the summary data there, machine settings. There we are, the AirSense 11 auto set, EPR off, great statistics. And then here's all the fun stuff here. All the breathing, sleep stage data, blood oxygen, pulse rate, movement, everything you could possibly want there. And it looks great in portrait mode. However, it also looks fantastic in landscape mode. And with charts, I think it's a little bit better in landscape, personally. All right, let's go down to the breathing trace here and we'll check out how his breathing looks in REM. Click and drag. And we can just scroll through and have a look there. There's the hypopnea flags there. Blood oxygen levels dropping a little bit during REM as they do. We can just scroll through. Awesome. Let's check out the trends. Here's the trend page. Beautiful. Looking nice. Now we'll just go to custom. I want to show you one thing here. And we'll go from the 16th September to 25th. Now you can see on the AHI trace, there's two yellow dots. Check this out. <laughs> Have a look at this. After Nick's comment on my chart in the iOS app preview, I'm going to chase the wild hypopnea with more pressure until I explode <laughs> from 17 to 18 tonight. So in a previous video, I was picking on Jay a little bit with some of his hypopnea flags and he watched that video obviously and he's made a little flag here and that's something you can do. So this is Jay's journal. He can add flags, he can do custom notes, he can monitor his weight and he can also click little emojis about how he's feeling on that particular day. It allows you to track your changes to your therapy. If you're going on holiday, if you've got a cold, whatever it is, you can track the changes. So this here is my O2 ring dashboard. And you can easily switch devices just up here. You can see I've got quite a few devices, as you can imagine, always testing out different gear. And I'll show you how easy it is to connect up an O2 ring. Just go to connections down the bottom, add new device. All right, there it is right there, O2 ring. And it's connected. All right, and you can see right now it's already downloading the files, downloading file one of three right there. I've got the battery level 94% and I've also got real time data here. Heart rate at 50 beats per minute and my blood oxygen level 97%. And I can set up custom alerts. So I click SPO2 alerts. Let's just choose 88. And we'll put the vibration strength at 80. Now, if I'm sleeping and my blood oxygen drops below 88%, my ring will vibrate to alert me. And you can see here, we also have the Apple Health stuff and we'll be expanding on this a lot in the near future. Um, and I can see the sync history here. This is all Apple Health data syncing to Sleep HQ, all my sleep stage data. So it's a full featured app. Now you might be wondering, how do you get the data into the app? Well, with the O2 data and the Apple Health data, that happens automatically. Shut up, crow. God's sake, every time. That happens automatically. You just open up the app, boom, you're done. With the CPAP data, there's a few ways. The best is with one of these, a Sleep HQ Magic Uploader. It connects up to your home Wi-Fi and it syncs all your CPAP data automatically every 10 minutes to the app. You don't have to do a thing. Just open up the app, all your CPAP data's there, all your O2 data's there, all your sleep stage data's there. I know there's a few devices there, but as you can see, it's really handy. Um, the other option is, you just take out the SD card from your device, 
open up sleephq.com, log into your account, and then just drag and drop the files from the SD card into sleephq and upload them that way. And finally, I think this is gonna be a game changer, this one, we're working on it right now, and it's happening. On the go card reader, you just plug it in to your device, and then you just put your SD card in, open up the app, and the files will transfer automatically. That's gonna be super cool. I'm not sure if it'll be ready for version one. We're working on it now, so we'll just have to see how we go, but it won't be long, that's for sure. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.